greetings to greetings to all my students welcome to session 9 in this session we are going to know more about functions as we know a function is a predefined formula that performs calculations using specific values in a particular order all spreadsheets programs include common functions then that can be used for quickly finding the sum average count maximum minimum value for a range of cells in order to use functions correctly you will need to understand the different parts of a function and how to create arguments to calculate values and cell reference so let us look at this example so in order to incorporate of addition you need to start with the equal to sign and then write sum that is sum open brackets and give the argument so argument is nothing but the cell references so this is the how we start a function we need to know what is syntax because we'll be learning more about it in the future formulas so in order to work correctly a function must be written in a specific way and that is called as syntax for example the function equal to average and the cell reference would calculate the average and this reference is called as argument and the whole function is called as syntax let us understand now the same thing with an example so now we are going to discuss in this session the following functions and you will be also learning how to work with the arguments let us take the first one sum so in the case of sum the function adds all the values of the cells in the argument given in the scenario this is the running total and this is the sales figure so you can see here so the formula generated is equal to and click upon the cell reference which you want to incorporate in the running total and in the second cell and so on and so forth the formula will be equal to the running total plus the cell reference which you want to incorporate subsequently and then one can drag it to arrive at the result okay so if you look at i have uh, put the formula here on the side for ease of understanding or you can always do f2 function f2 or f2 depends on your laptop make and model so you can see the formula is shown here and it is the running total plus the sales figure for that corresponding month and if you drag this formula then you will get the corresponding formula updated in the next cell the cell reference is automatically picked up now let us look at the second formula and that is called as average so in this example we would like to calculate the average from the cell c2 i okay so how did we do this select the cell where you want to calculate the average equal to average close the open the bracket cover the data which you want to calculate and close the bracket with this we get the average of the selected cell references the same cell reference can be copied to the next cell and the formula can be generated so you didn't apply formula in each cell once applied and the copy formula in the next cell the result will be generated with the help of the automated pick up of the references coming to the next one this function is called as formula is count and here uh, 
equal to count and cover the data. So, what is it doing? This function counts the number of cells with numerical data in the argument. That means the cell, how many cells have been filled up. See for example, you can see with regards to this, you are getting the count as 2 and if I add a column or a data, you can see the count has become 3. Similarly, if I remove a data, the count will become 0. So basically, this function is useful for quickly counting items in a cell range. Coming to the next one, that is maximum. This function determines the highest cell value included in the argument. Very simple to start, equal to maximum open bracket, cover the data and close the bracket and then just copy the formula in the next cell, you get the answer for the all the cells. So this gives me the maximum value in the argument selected. Similarly, we can choose minimum. So, this gives me lowest cell value included in the argument. So, you can see the lowest cell value among this is 100 and that has been selected as the minimum value in the answer. Okay, dear students, going forward, these are the, so you have to learn in order to make your work profile very strong and have a professional approach to Excel, you need to learn these many formulas. There are around 148 formulas. Among them, not all are important. In future sessions, we will be learning upon the important formulas. These formulas, they are grouped into following, namely, we have Excel functions corresponding date and time, logical, lookup and reference, mathematical, statistics, text functions, info and financial. So under Excel functions of date and time, we may be learning date function, so how to find today's date, a number of days of work, then under the logical function will be using AND and this result can generate that is AND and IF whether false and true. So some examples where I can be able to extract answer as false or true. Under lookup function will be using VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. This is the most powerful and most important tool in Excel which helps you to generate varied types of results. Then you have mathematical functions such as interest calculation and RA and D, RAND function is nothing but random number. So, we will be learning more about them in future sessions. Statistical function like we just now did average, we all will be also learning what is average if ranking etc. Then under text functions, we can learn concatenate. So, concatenate is used when you want to join two characters. Similarly, find functions left or right of a data, etc. So, this can eventually help you to generate the uh, VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. And under INFO function, we will be learning so many details. So, in, among them, some are important. And then, under the next function, that is financial function, we will be learning, for example, PMT, NPV, IRR etc. These functions one can find under formulas. So, if you click here under financial, you can see the functions which we will be touching upon and DB stands for depreciation. So, we will be learning about depreciation also and under depreciation, you can also learn straight line method etc. Then we will be also learning IRR, internal rate of return, NPV net present value. So, if you observe in these formulas, syntax will be already, the argument is already there. So, syntax is already there. You just have to select the cell range. So, there are two ways to do the functions. One, you can automate it by using equal to or you can go to the formulas, 
select the requisite function and when the argument gets populated, you can select the range. Similarly, under logical one can see, we will be learning and if functions. Then under the text, we can convert number to text or text to number, concatenate, concatenate as I told you, merge to data, lower case, upper case, etc. Then under date, this is very useful for HR to calculate leaves taken, number of days worked, number of holidays, etc. And this can be extracted with respect to days or month also. So you want to pay bonus using date and time function, you can uh, prepare the bonus calculation hourly rate. Similarly, you have time and this is under time and date and time. Under lookup function, very important in function is VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. I will also explain to you what is transpose and how these functions help to extract data from one uh, data set to another to prepare the report. And under mathematical function, we have some functions like interest calculation, LCM, one can also calculate logarithm, of course it is not used much in finance profile and we can also learn how to round off to the nearest digit and RAND stands for random number and under more functions you can see we have statistical tool, engineering tool and information tool that is information with respect to the system or the formula generated and then compatibility tool etc. So these are the functions which will be subsequently discussed in the coming sessions. Dear students, I thank you and I shall see you in the next session.